state of emergency on drugs. One of the things we believe, we believe that one of the most cost-effective ways for us to um, alleviate this menace in our society is to educate people about the dangers of it, about demand reduction. So we decide to use social platforms, we decide to use uh, the media to educate people. So we're partnering with Bangba with it because they are bringing a lot of Gen Z's out tomorrow from university students, uh, high school goers, and the National Drug Law Enforcement data indicates that 40% of those who are taking these drugs are in school. So that's the danger. We know how that will affect the president's legacy, which is the free quality education. And we also know how that affects the labor force when we talk about pizza alone. So we are here today with Crayon. Crayon is from Nigeria. He's one of the leading local artists and international artists that is trending around the world. And he has a lot of songs that resonate to a lot of Sierra Leonean Gen Z's here. So they are here. They will be performing tomorrow alongside other local artists like Rap G, LG, Ruziz, and others at uh, Radisson Blue Garden. So um, we want to use that platform where we will speak to you. So we pass Hitchie's message that drugs, you can still enjoy without using drugs. You can still enjoy without being high. So on that note, I will want to stop here and maybe Creon or Bamba would want Bamba to say something. <laughs> <laughs> um, first of all, I want to say um, good afternoon. I appreciate everything you've been doing for Sierra Leone. And um, we, when Bang Baudi first started to create Bang Baudi, the whole initiative was um, to embrace the youth of Sierra Leone, um, boost tourism, because obviously we know what we have in Sierra Leone and what we can show to the outside world. Um, so um, mainly the platform is to embrace Sierra Leone and the youth of Sierra Leone. Um, on our first um, event, because we usually have a theme, the first event that we've done, when we brought um, Iresta and Ruga we're gonna have Sugarland Beach mm. 2021. Yes, I remember. The theme was um, women empowerment. Yeah. That was our first theme. The second theme last year was mental health illness. Sorry, mental health awareness. Mm. And seeing that the uh, um, HU, the president of Sierra Leone, declared a national emergency, we decided to continue the mental health um, awareness campaign mm. this year. Um, the good thing about Bambaudi, we already have the trust from the youth and the people of Sierra Leone, so they believe us strongly in whatever we do. Um, we just do our best to push up what we have to show the international world what we have in Sierra Leone. So here we are today. So just pay respect to you, man. Thank you. Oh, that's for my. I'm really honored to be here today with you in this beautiful country. So like, the little thing we hear about you guys from outside is it's scary. For me, coming here, <laughs> for me, coming here and seeing everything is like direct opposite. Like, it's beautiful to see the airport is amazing. So I'm, I'm, I'm honored to be here, you know. Um, and also speaking about like um, the use of drugs. You know, me, I grew up in the trenches. I grew up in a home in a place called Ojo in Lagos, where drugs and the use of drugs were was the go to, it was crazy. You know, but I grew up in that, you know, toxic environment, and I came out a superstar. I didn't have to do those things. I didn't have to smoke weed. I didn't have to do all of these things to become a superstar. What I'm trying to say is, you can actually be a superstar without being high. Mm -hmm. Like, all my songs that I've written, over the years, all my big songs from Overdose to Ngoli to Jola Balaba to Ngodamo, I recorded them sober. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds, that sounds sober. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's so I, you know, I didn't need to do something to get me to my space or do something to, to, people have their different vices, but I feel like, you know, mental health is a very, very important issue. And I feel like a lot of youth need to connect with that and you need to know that. You know, regardless of whatever you're doing, you don't need drugs. You don't need it. Like at the, at the long run, you don't to damage your your system. You know, a lot of people do drugs when they are young, and then when they get old, their their body is like, you know. So you can't live without drugs. 
you know. So I mean, I'm a living witness. You know, you can be great without God. You don't have to do it to be great. So yeah, that's why we are here today. Tomorrow, while I'm on stage as well, when I'm performing, I'm also going to have to face that on stage as well. Mm-hmm. Let the people know that you're like you can actually be a superstar. You don't have to be great to be a superstar. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Let me hear from the ladies. <laughs> Good afternoon once more. My name is May. Today is the Union. So I work with um, Lahai. Bambaudi. Bambaudi. Yes. I'm a lady from Bambaudi. So yes, um, just like how Lahai just mentioned, this is what we have been doing for the past um, two to three years now in promoting, trying to use um, entertainment to educate people, to, like the youth, more especially. So, this is our means of see how we can contribute to them. Um, yeah. So use this is the ways that that we use to at least pass on information to the youth, more especially the youth, because they can be distracted, they can be get influenced easily by their peers. So we use entertainment to at least pass on information and see how best they can change the mentality. Stop the bullying, stop the drugs, and stop the bad bad things. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Um, Mike is a brother, but he just doesn't like to show up. <laughs> and uh, he will just pick his phone and say, I'm coming to the rapid. <laughs> <laughs> like, why? But um, you know, I'm very humbled to receive you in this office. Um, I know it's short notice. If you are, if I'd known earlier that you were going to be here, I would have brought in a lift of young people so that they come and celebrate you. Because um, coming from the entertainment industry, not too many of us believe in giving back to our people. Not too many of us think that we could use our platform for humanity. Most times we're there for the fame. Most times we just want to be the success story. And we don't care who we trample on, who we I mean, destroy along the way, as long as I am there. But now you, with the stardom, and you're still so humble, and you still want to give back to people. You know, you don't have to go around holding money and be dashing to everyone, take this, take that. Just change your mindset. That is more than anything you could give to humanity, especially in a world that we live right now. It's a very toxic world and a very difficult one at that. So for that, I am truly, truly, truly I mean, grateful mm-hmm. that you have chosen Sierra Leone to come and help us in this fight. It's a very, very difficult situation. For me, I call it a disgraceful, a disgraceful state. You know, the way um, uh, these drugs have actually affected our children and for the people who are graciously sitting there watching allowing this to happen, contributing to it. I think they are the evil people. They're very evil because you must be very evil to want to see another person's child destroy themselves like the way Kush is destroying children in this country. So taking your time, coming over to join all of us in this, to campaign against it, to try to sensitize our youths. You are young, they can see themselves in you. You will be a very good role model to them tomorrow. I can only say thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being part of our project because this is a national project. This is one that every Sierra Leonean would want to, if you are a meaningful Sierra Leonean, and if you are not the one that is selling it, we should be celebrating you. For those that are selling it, for those that are importing it, because we are only focusing on the consumers but we are not actually focusing on the people who are actually providing this substance to our children. 
So my own concern or my own focus is on the people who are doing this. If only God can touch their conscience for them to know that what they are doing is wrong and that it's, it's not only destroying um, another person's child, but you're actually helping in, this, in the destruction of your own nation. Because these young people are the ones who are supposed to be somebody tomorrow to take up the mantle when we, are, when we, we exit the stage. If you destroy all of them, now who replaces us? You can replace us, but would you have a meaningful people to replace us? Development does not come by just changing power. This one come, this one go. No. Development comes by when you are there, what did you do? And you should be able to account for what you, you did and what you think when you are leaving because you can't give instruction to the person coming if you haven't done anything. If I'm leaving this place and I want to talk to the next first lady, I will be able to sit and say, listen, this is not a glamour place. This is where you change narrative. This is where you use your platform to do ABC. But if I haven't done anything, on which, which moral ground do I have to tell the person coming, this is the way you should go? That's what leadership is all about. Make your own mark positively so that when you exit, the next person coming, they will have no choice but to do better. So thank you again. I can't promise that I will be there. But you know, Mike know me. I can just wake up and say, you know what? I want a party. I don't know if they told you that about me. I love music. I love dancing. <laughs> and uh, I don't think anyone, anyone even, no one can stop me from dancing, you know. And sometimes I use sati music to send a message. And then I use dancing to say I'm here. If you don't like it, don't take kush, or you can swim the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> but I am here. You know? So I want to say thank you. Bamba Ode, this word, huh? I don't remember. You know when we were growing up in New Year, I did see you Bamba Ode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, that means like, uh, you know, this is openly. Yeah. That's the word. So that's why when they say Bamba Ode, I'm like, that is not a common word. And it, that is the smartest, smartest name I have heard for a very long time in this country. Honestly, it is unique, it is creative, it is, I mean, Bamba Udi. Everybody relates to that. Every tribe will relate to that. There will be no politics in your slogan. There will be no tribe in your slogan. You know what? That is what you call true artistic mind. Because the name, the name, people have to remember that name. If you have a name that no one can remember, mm -hmm. no need to use it. Mm -hmm. You know, when I say hands off our girls, it's like, whoops, that's hard. But I know you would, you won't forget that word. No, so far as I said hands off. You know, I'm telling you, know, I'm not asking for anything. Just hands off. Do you know what I mean? So the name, it's 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 creative. I'm very happy. Very very. You know. I know this is short notice for me and that you're only coming here today to let me know about it. Mm -hmm. But I want you to count me in when you're doing stuff like this because these are the kind of things and you are the kind of people I want to promote. Thank you. And I really it. want to be able to say this is a success story. Thank you, I appreciate it. Please. No problem. Yeah? We'll make it happen. This office, take it as yours. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I know we are all very busy. Today is Friday and it's yeah. humor for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, whatever you do, you have to go close to God. Yeah. And I, you know, we have to we have to go for in this office. So sure. I want to say thank you and I wish you all the best. I'll be honored. You know, <laughs> you won't. I mean, he know me. <laughs> Tomorrow is independent.
We'll see how it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. I promise. Whatever it is, I'll let Mike know. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. have an official picture with you guys. And uh, of course, I, I, I believe you guys know that he's the president. <laughs>